Good morning. It's March 23rd. It's a Monday, and welcome to the show. It's a walleye edition here at Jekyll Bates, y'all. And um, got some cool stuff. I'm really excited about these because they're going up to my friend Tina, who loves to fish for walleye with her brother. She's been a longtime client. I'm also in the process of doing a 10 by 30 watercolor salmon, which I'm about a third of the way through pretty excited about that as well but these so I get a lot of creative control from some of my clients um, some of them I've painted stuff that works for them and they want some things that you know they want that same pattern again um, first and foremost being let me pick this one up these perch so the walleye seem to really destroy these perch in Michigan and on the lakes and it is my own kind of creation most <laughs> most things are um, because I don't I refuse to copy anybody else's pattern unless it's a brand name that's been around and everybody's doing that like the splatterback that I'm getting ready to show you guys later on this week um, these are really cool they work really well and these are brand name repaints these are bandits let's see if you can see it on here not so much on this one but on some of the other ones so I got a bunch of uh, like this is a 14 piece that she sent me and she sent it to me like the beginning of February so we're looking at what is it March 23rd so um, we're looking at a little bit of time out but it's been pretty busy around here so and between that and trying to get everybody else's orders caught up with that stuff has been kind of creeping in slow it is what it is and you guys are wonderful and thank you it's not a big deal staying at home that's never an issue uh, I work from my garage my converted garage into a shop so I'm usually alone when I work but just the the whole social thing I am a social not not as much as I used to be social butterfly but yeah anyways I'm digressing I think this is the perch pattern and these are on trolling baits. Russ Allen, give you a shout out on this one because it's I'm gonna be using a lot of his stuff. He he's was gracious enough to send some stuff my way, some some stencils my way a couple of months ago, and uh, I'm gonna be incorporating them into a few pieces uh, that I'm working on this week. We'll go probably top to bottom here, and then I've got some stuff that's out of frame right now. She asked for an olive pattern. This is the olive craw, and pretty much the craw or the lining on this is less significant than the color patterns for walleye. Um, these are solid colors that they'll hit. They like the bright, loud stuff, too, and I've got some really fun stuff. Uh, this one down here, there's a couple of these. That's car wash foam. That's the name of the pattern, and you'll see it when I pick it up. But we've got an olive craw. We have a ghost gill, and I wanted to keep, so she sent me graciously all the hooks and the split rings had already been removed from her um, and sent me some very cool clear baits, which I've just had the utmost fun redoing but on this pattern here um, thought it was significant to leave some of these a little bit more transparent because of the flash they have underneath so when these things are going through the water they're going to put out a crazy amount of flash and reflective property as they're going through so I wanted to make some of these a little bit lighter than others this being one of those so this is just a ghost gill pattern it's got the, uh, these are real eyes. And that's, you can pick that up at Lure Parts Online. This is a tapestry pattern. Similar to a pickerel, only it's not green. And then those really bright glow fluorescent yellow eyes to meet that. And again, these, uh, this is from Russ Allen's Fin Wheel. And there's, he's got various sizes good stuff this I've got a couple of these going on so I'll pick there's ones on a Rapala and ones on this bandit so she had asked for a hot tuna pattern and I do a couple of variations on the hot tuna the hot tuna is all of the fluorescent colors in a mash on a bait 
and then I do black on top of that on a regular fluorescent and it's great for small mouth but you know like the the big thing and I think one of the most popular patterns in walleye fishing is that Wonder Bread pattern and it's just super bright it's white and then it's got like the circles on it um, so these are the the similar colors only we just decided to uh, to mesh off a chromed bait and give you guys those fluorescent colors and it looks just like if you're taking your car through those car foam washes so that's the name that I came up with on this lots of fun and should be good I, I'm really curious Tina to see what you guys do with walleye on this same on this Rapala let me guys flip that over for you this is that Rapala Deep Husky. And I think these go like 14, 15, probably lower if you're trolling them, depending on how you have them rigged. And then on the Rapalas, they come with um, the two-dimensional eyes, so we just did uh, hand-painted eyes on that. And also on this lake trout. This is the only lake trout that I did. I did a little bit of stenciling on the belly in white that I overlaid over the rest of this bait. Bring that a little bit better into the light. But it is a moss green with uh, copper pearl over top of that. And then your pink and your blue on the belly. Now these are, this is the creature feature right there that's the creature feature from uh, anarchy stencils which are in the UK and thoughts and prayers to everybody in Europe and also in the states that are having to wrangle and mess with this craziness going on in the world so our thoughts and prayers are with all of our fish heads around the world and uh, hopefully we can all get through this together one world one love says Bob Marley this is a flicker minnow. Those Berkleys, these are also really good. I fish these, um, the smaller ones, if I'm doing like some deep stuff with bass, especially in the springtime. Again, this is going back to that perch pattern. Just a little bit of fluorescent red on the throat. Just a huckleberry fin pattern or huckleberry. There's no fin to it because there's no fin on it. This is fluorescent red, fluorescent violet, and a white dot. It's a white stencil bubble pattern. Just plain circles. The bubblegum craw. Also, and again, these are walleye, so they're going to be, I know I always do like the brightest patterns. I do a lot of out-of-the-box stuff on my patterns regardless, but this, um, while I just happen to really love crazy colors. This is probably the most traditional one that I did on this one. This is just a crappie. It's a black crappie. I wanted it to be extremely contrasted because these are going to be trolling deep, so the profile and the pattern needs to really show up. Put on those glow red eyes and then the last two in this we've got that citrus and this is just a molten citrus purple eyes again these rapalas they're hand painted fluorescent into a bluish into a yellow on the belly and then this is one complete order this little guy is a lunker hunt this is a shallow running it goes to about two two and a half feet can get it maybe to three but generally not more than two and a half feet these eyes are from John over at Jetson left the belly alone and then you can see underneath two to two and a half feet 
that's what I've got on this one. Stay tuned. I will see you on the next one. There's a lot coming out uh, over the next couple of weeks. I'm trying not to give you back to back to back to back on workshop updates, but there's a lot of orders, so you're going to see them. I'm going to try and stack them up to where I can release them, not all at once. Uh, so that said, you might see some of the stuff that I'm doing this week, next week, and so forth and so on. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the week, and I will see. We're almost out of here. We're almost out of March. So one more week in March, and we'll be done. You guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you soon. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Mm -hmm.